the municipality of RTR in the province of Agusan del Norte. A small, peaceful, native village with big trees and rocky mountains. Welcome to Barangay San Antonio. A small ethnic group living in this village called the Manubo. Manubo tribe is culturally rich. Traditional practices, medical uses, diversity, and traditional knowledge based on their community plant resources. We visited and interviewed one of the Manubo people. Manubu are making their living through harvesting and small plot of plants like sweet potatoes, sugar cane, papaya, or any kinds of fruit that are common in the area. Some of the Manubo artists create the handicrafts such as woven basket and mats. They also make abaca for a living and to trade some of items to make a living. Villagers of San Antonio also have some other ways to make a living. Ma'am, what are you doing in San Antonio? I'm going to eat a lot of food, a lot Pano la? Kanang dresa pano la? Unsay patron dresa San Antonio? San Antonio di Padua. San Antonio mga nya. Kano sa inyong pista nila? John 13. Ah, John 13. Sa checkpoint lang sa putay lang pano dito? Patron? Oh, Santa, Santa Teresita. Ah, kano sa magkano lang pano? Pista lang mga. October 6. Ah, nya pano la? Mga tourist spot diri sa kan lang unsay mga oh, may daghan mga tourist spots sa saman na ay sak ato dito nahan sa ato na ilong ilong mm na pay ilong ilong na itagnuti falls sa pay uban nga falls ug sawa na guba ang tuning tourist spot na oo dili ha tuning villagers have their farm and farm animals for business and their livelihood San Antonio is also one of the big producers of coconut, banana, and palcata. Some beliefs are also believed in San Antonio, like the wata and mythical creatures like aswang. They also have some scenes that they worship and celebrate during the day of the honorary or thanksgiving for the saints San Antonio de Padua and Santa Teresa. San Antonio also has a great tourist spot 
such as Tagnote Falls, a beautiful and gorgeous waterfall. Tuning River, it was once a great place, but due to a super typhoon, it has been demolished. It is really amusing to see that in a small society, there are different kind of people living in harmony and peacefully, with different culture that's unique and different way of living.